Virgos, hey my love, love, lovies. Whoa, I am making a mess, not gonna wear my teacup. What is going on with you, Virgos? Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hey, my loves, it's your girl, Empress Meek, and welcome to Closer to My Destiny's Tea, where the tea is never too hot. Always serve with a multitude of love and just right for you. Virgo, I'm sending each and every one of you my positive energy and warm wishes, hoping that you set this Friday off right. Happy Friday. Yes, Virgo, it is Friday. We made it through another week. What is good? What is good? All right, I hope each and every one of you are feeling well. If you're not, allow my love and my high vibrations to help you feel a whole lot better. Virgo, let's get into your energy and see what's surrounding you right now. See what may be in store for you or what you need to know for today. This is your daily tarot and oracle reading. Thank you to each and every one of my new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to our family. And thank you for each and every one of you that have been rocking with me since day one. I appreciate you. Our channel is growing, growing, growing. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And your beautiful comments and blessings helping our channel grow even more. All right, Virgo. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for bringing me here with my Virgos one more time. These videos resonate with Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you for a beautiful Friday. Thank you for an amazing start to our weekend. It's a little bit dreary, but we thank you for keeping our spirits high, our mind clear, and our, and our aura bright. Okay? Thank you so much for keeping us under your divine hand of protection, blocking and binding any negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness that may be coming up against this channel. Casting down any spell work, incantations, or all negative energy and any type of bad juju. Send it back to Cinder for us, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for giving us clarity and healing our bodies, minds, hearts, souls, and spirits. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, guys, I'm going to try to give you a quick, quick read. I'm on my way out. I have a lot of things to do today, so I'm here. Bright and early for you. It's early here. And it's a nasty day outside, so I gotta be the sunshine. You already know how I get down. Spirit, show me clear messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know today? What does Virgo not see? What does Virgo need to know on today? Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right. So you could be holding back from a situation. Temperance card is here helping you balance your emotions in a certain situation that you're holding back from. Let's see. You're holding back or balancing your energy. Um, your angels are here assisting you to be triumphant in a certain situation. I'm getting that um, this is you moving forward, finding the courage, um, finding the hope, okay, um, to move forward. This is you trusting in what the outcome is going to bring you. You've taken a lot of patience. You've been very patient and planning on this thing that you have coming towards you or that you're going toward. It's something that you are moving toward very quickly, okay? Um, let's see what this is. Or either if you're not moving towards something, you're overcoming something. Balancing your emotions. You may be suffering in silence or feeling down about a certain situation. Or this could be somebody suffering in silence about you holding back from them. Let's see. Yeah. This was a conversation that could have happened. You having to cut somebody off. Um, maybe somebody is suffering in silence because, yeah, you cut them off. And you're moving forward triumphantly, not worrying about their mess. Patience and planning is here. Um, so maybe they were patiently planning how to come towards you and triumph, but you're holding back from them. I see the um, sword of truth here where you sever a tie or you start one. But I also see the devil energy here, this temptation energy. And I guess you cut this person off because they're, they're toxic ways. They're kind of toxic here, okay? They move towards you very quickly, all right? And didn't give you much time to think about anything. This person is not balancing their sacral chakra, okay? So this is somebody that's hot in their pants, all right? Probably coming towards you, showing all kinds of sexual emotions um, and passion or whatever. But they're coming to you pretty fast. And as fast as they came to you, the faster you cut this situation off. All right, you're being patient and balancing because you have material harvest on your mind. You're manifesting right now and you don't have time for somebody coming in to stop your manifestation process. Wow, I know that's right, Virgo. You're like, no, I'm not doing it. 
suffering in silence, a little bit of obstacles and challenges here. This person could have been bringing you obstacles and challenges, but you're trying to have your wishes fulfilled. You have victory on your mind. Victory and success is here. You're moving forward triumphantly. You have things coming in towards you, blessings and balance and things that you deserve. So you're really not letting nobody in your energy that does not complement this energy that's already surrounding you, Virgo. So, wow, that's what I'm talking about, okay? This is the right energy for me. So, Virgo, you definitely cut somebody off or sent somebody on their way because they didn't know how to come towards you. Let's go deeper. Spirit, give me clear messages for Virgo showing me this person. Um, this person that they left behind. Show us this person with this toxic energy or this tempting energy. What's going on with this situation, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? What's your advice? Somebody could be after a recognized victory. Um, just not really trying to put in much effort with you. Look at this. Two of Cups energy. Okay, this could be a family member or a love connection. Somebody that likes you a lot and they want to be successful and be in union with you or something like that. But Virgo, you're not interested in this person. Look at this. You're not interested in this person because when they had the chance, they kept you waiting. You ended it because you feel like they were only out for themselves and their own victory. All right. You feel like it's a burden to be with this person and, and you don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, you feel like it's, it was a burden. They, When you were with this person, all they did was burden you and weigh you down. Now they're waiting and spying, waiting on the right, right opportunity. And Virgo, I'm getting you know this. You know that they're spying on you. You know what's going on. You know that they're plotting and waiting for the, the right chance to come in and swoop down and try to do whatever. It looks like they're trying to just have a victory with you. But this person knows that they're emotionally unavailable. Yeah, so temperance, you're holding back from them. You don't want anything to do with this person because you know they're emotionally unavailable. Yeah, it could be somebody from your past that cheated in the past. Somebody that's a, um, Aries Leo Sag. I got um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, I got Pisces on the board, Scorpio on the board. I got um, Aries, Aquarius, okay, and Libra, but not that much Libra. Yeah, but this person is trying to stop you. This person sees that you're very successful. You already cut this person off. You said what you had to say. And I'm feeling like with this person, you had to say some choice words because this person bore some kind of confusion. Like, and you're trying to heal from that situation, Virgo. So you really don't have time for this person. Virgo, whoever this is, they need to just go somewhere. I'm not even lying to you. Um, that's your reading, loves. Let's get some angel advice, some messages from your angels, or let's get these um, self-love oracle cards and see what these cards have to tell you. I'm getting whoever this person is. You don't want anything to do with them, and you already told them. They just won't take no for an answer. They're feeling bad. I bet you despair comes out. They're feeling bad for walking away from this situation. Let's see. Yeah, this person gave you a lot of burdens. You gave this, this is somebody that you already gave a chance to before and now they're coming back. Um, they feel this soulmate energy between you two. Let's see. Yeah, look. You saw right through them and you decided to free yourself from this situation and explore new other opportunities because there's a lot of deception here and temptation. This person is not doing what they, you know, and then they have a nerve to come and give you an offer. See what I mean? They see that you're stable. I saw stability here. How's this person feeling right now? This person feels fear and limitations. They feel like they're not good enough for you. Um, they feel like they have a lot of limitations holding them back. Um, it's a lot of things that they need to work on, okay? And you're busy finding your purpose going forward i mean you're an elevated being you don't have time for this and your third eye is open so you see right through this person and what did i tell you this person is spying on you virgo spying on you okay so this is interesting i told you look this person is in deep regret about whatever they did they're angry at themselves they're angry at the situation and they're doing a lot of moping right now they are i mean some of you probably don't even care <laughs> like but they're doing it Okay, so this is what we have here for this person. Um, very interesting. 
very interesting but at the same time expected because usually when people do something screwed up and try to come back and pick up where they left off and you say no then they feel bad i mean that's why they came up with the saying you don't miss something until it's gone like when you had it you didn't appreciate it but now you don't and it's too late balance slow down lighten your load so you can flow and that's what this ten of wands energy is like you put that burden down you're busy balancing your life out doing what you um feel doing what you feel is best for you you had the courage to move on fear is natural it invites us to be brave accept and face your what scares you all right so yeah you don't have to be afraid of anybody or anything don't work, focus on the outcome that you don't want Focus on the outcome you do want. Spirit is saying just to keep going and trust in me that I got you. All right? So you're protected. All right? And it is safe to relax because the universe has your back. Your divine purpose is to enjoy your life. So chill out, Virgo. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the blessings that are coming into your life. And enjoy all the good opportunities that you have, my loves. All right? So this was your quick weed. For, <laughs> quick weed. There y'all go again. Smoking before work or whatever y'all doing. I don't smoke weed. So I know y'all smoking weed, watching me, okay? This is your quick read for today. I love you, love you, love you. Bye, my loves. Bye, bye, my loves. Have fun, Virgo. It's Friday. I will see you sooner than later. Enjoy this reading. Comment below and tell me what's up with this person. What's going on? Bye, Virgo.